In one of my last videos, I introduced you to the MADC20, the Fordham Dust Collector. In this video, I would like to introduce you to a few techniques for troubleshooting and some maintenance as well. Hi, I'm Melissa Muir. Let's get into it and take a look now. If you ever find that your dust collector is not working, maybe it doesn't turn on, or maybe you even have it where it will turn on and then kick back off shortly after. Well, first thing that you definitely want to check, obviously, is if your power is on and make sure any of your plugs are connected properly. So assuming that everything is plugged in properly and we're still having issues, next thing I like to do is to take a little screwdriver, pop it into this, pull out this little drawer. So you can see in here, and I know it's a little difficult to see in the video, but there are actually two fuses in here. One is your fuse that's being used and the other one is a spare. So check your fuse, make sure that that hasn't blown, and then you can just slip that and pop it back into place. If everything is looking good with your fuse and the plugs, then the next thing is to check out what's going on inside of our machine. So first thing I'm going to do is remove our little connection tube from the filter to our intake. I'm going to loosen up the knobs here. Just give this a little twist, pull out your HEPA filter. Obviously, the first thing would be is to check our filter. Okay, you can take this out and knock it around a little bit, see if it's got a lot of dust. Mine is quite empty since this is a newer machine and it's just barely been replaced with that filter. Now down here, you can see we actually have something else. Now that down there is another filter, even though it just looks like a little knob. So what I'm going to do is reach in and unscrew this knob. There are two washers. There's a metal washer and a rubber washer. And now we're able to remove the other filter. So now what we have down here is our canister filter. Now if you happen to notice that your machine will turn on and it'll be on for a little bit and then it'll turn off, chances are we've got something going on maybe with the canister filter that it's full and it's triggering that thermal turn off switch. Now sometimes this will get full of dust and other debris and it will inhibit the flow of air in the machine and then it triggers our thermal override. So what you'll notice happening is that your machine will turn on, it'll start to work and then it'll turn off. You turn off your machine, you let it cool down a little bit, get things settled, turn it back on and it will do the same thing. So if that's the case, take this, you can vacuum it out, you can dust, you know, tap it off or you can even replace this. Once you've checked to make sure that this is clean or you're replacing it, then you can insert this back into the machine. And then you can replace the washers, starting with your rubber washer, followed by the metal washer, and finally tightening everything back down with our knob. From here, you would return your HEPA filter and Retighten each of these screw caps. Replace your connector. Once you've checked all of these situations, hopefully that will resolve your problem. If not, you may need to actually check the motor brushes for the machine itself. And that is definitely an entirely different video. Now here's another couple of things to keep in mind when using the dust collection system. This should never be used for fume extraction and it should also not be used for anything that's going to throw off any sparks because those sparks or those hot pieces can come back in to the HEPA filter and start to burn that. So you definitely want to be very careful of that. I hope this helps answer some questions if you happen to have any of these. Now, as far as maintaining, it would be best to check each of these different items probably once every month or so, just to make sure things are still working properly and you can stay on top of it and ahead of these. So if these issues do arise, then you'll know at least that we need to do some more troubleshooting. I hope that helps. And if you guys like these videos, make sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and ring the bell so that you get notifications for when we post new videos. Thanks so much and we'll see you guys next time.